Hello guys, welcome back to an app. For today's video, we are going to show you how to connect HyperX Cloud Alpha to PC. So if you're interested, let's start tutorial. So how do you exactly connect your headset here? Well, connecting your HyperX Cloud Alpha is fairly easy because of how it's actually built. Now, if you're not aware yet, this headset or this specific uh, type of uh, headset from HyperX is a plug and play thing. It's also uh, compatible with different platforms and just to give you some proof here and some idea, uh, when you go ahead and visit their official website here for the HyperX Cloud Alpha, as you can see, it's available or you could actually connect this to your PC, PS4, and even Xbox and Nintendo Switch. Now, the thing with this one is you have the following cord. So in this case, this is what it looks like. So if you go to the box, you have two line here. So we have the actual line that we could use to plug it into our PC. But in some cases, you might have or you might get two plugs in your PC instead of just one. Now, some PCs can have like one or one uh, one cord is enough. But in some cases, my, your PC might have two. So just give me the uh, this what the back of your PC might look like. So we have multicolor plugs here for uh, different audios. So we have line out, mic in, line in, and a lot more. But the most important part here is going to be the line out and the mic in option. Now, if you don't have, again, if you don't have the single line option to connect your uh, headset, you could use the back here. Now, what you need to do is you need to plug your first line here into your headset. Now, once you've done that, you want to use the extension that was provided with you. So go ahead and plug this one into this one. Now you want to use this to uh, section or plug here. Now you want to get the green one and plug it into the line out option. Now you want to get the red or pink one here and plug it into the mic in option. Now they are color coded, so you just need to plug in, uh, plug them in into the appropriate one. Now once you've done that, just make sure that you go to Windows and change your audio. So just make sure to select the, your audio here, and from then on, you should be good. And that's about it. So. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.